Hi, I'm John from SurfFX, and today we're looking at the new SIC RS boards. And then these are the RS 14s, also available in 12 sixes, and a few different widths. Now, this is the most tested board that SIC has ever made. They've been started making prototypes for this in 2016, and they've made a lot of changes around the way. Now, these are the final production boards. What they've done, they've got a noticeably bigger nose than most of the SIC boards. A lot of volume keeping the nose up. There is a slight dome to it to shed water when it does punch through, but it does have a little bit of a low bow to really get in there nice and easy if it is a really steep wave you're coming into. You come back a little bit and you've got a semi dugout cockpit. It's only about 40 mil, 50 mil down, but it does get you a little bit lower and you get a little bit farther forward. Handle wise, there's a few standard inserts. You've got tie down points to put a bungee if you want to, front leash mount, and they've got their, one of their kind of their trademark things now, their handles. So they're rock solid built into the board, really easy to grip. So in windy conditions, you can grab your board quite solidly. As you keep going back, it's full length deck grip, as you can see. Now, into a broad, broad tail, something that tail gives is unbelievable stability when kick turning. And having a wide tail, also when you're doing a really high stroke rate, real high cadence, it keeps the tail from sinking down between strokes. So it keeps that up nice and flat, keeps the board up flat. Because every time the board would sink, it's basically putting the brakes on. When you flip the board over underneath, you can see a bit more detail of what they've done real testing wise. And the first thing that jumps out is this channel. So what the channel does, it creates a bit of a low pressure area, gives the board a bit more grip, and it also directs water over the fin. So that grip will add stability, and having water over the fin adds directional stability, keeping a straight line nice and easy. Rocker line on these boards, not as aggressive as say their bullet or the uh, bayonet, but uh, definitely a bit more than say like their FX um, and really more than their displacement hulls, the uh, X series boards. So we've been doing really well with these. They've been hugely popular. Some of the guys who have bought them have bought two, getting a couple of sizes, basically having a flat water board and then more of an ocean board. Um, and then still sticking with something like a bullet or a bayonet as a dedicated downwind one. But to take these downwind, they are really fast and you get a lot more speed catching the bumps and between the bumps. 